Ahoy mateys and welcome to a new tutorial. I've been away for a while, stuck playing Valheim. Arr. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a aim track rifle. I'm going to need an old aim track gun with a PS3 Cabela's Top Shot Elite Rifle. What's great about this Top Shot Elite Rifle is that it has a shotgun pump feature along with buttons on the side for easy access. Let's start with taking your old aim track light gun apart. I'm going to take apart my aim track Namco light gun I created in the above video. Time for an upgrade. Arr. Take out all the components and set them to the side for now. Now let's take apart your top shot elite rifle. After taking the shell off the gun, start removing the IR tracking module. When you get to the shotgun pump button, disconnect the wires from the circuit board. Continue to remove the components until you reach the trigger button. Disconnect the trigger button and the battery power cables from the circuit board. Let's remove the silicone buttons from the IR tracking module circuit board. Clip the silicone feet off the buttons. Now we need to hot glue the silicone buttons to the aim track buttons circuit board. I will have a diagram below for more detailed information. Let's strip the wires for the trigger and the shotgun pump buttons. For the trigger button, we will need to add some cables to make the connection reach. Strip the two cables clean and connect the wires together. I'm just twisting the wires together and taping them with electrical tape. Connect the wires for the shotgun pump to the Amtrak circuit board wires. See diagram below. We need to make room for the IR tracking module inside the top elite rifle. Use a soldering iron to remove the plastic screw holders. Also make sure to remove the lens so that you don't melt it. Place the IR tracking module just behind the center bottom of the lens. Then hot glue into place. Plug in the USB cable and hot glue it down to the gun.
We also need to align the aim track button with the square button location on the elite rifle. This can be a little tricky. When placing the button on top of the square button, make sure you can press the square button and it clicks the aim track button on the other side before hot gluing it down. So now we should have the IR tracking module, aim track, side buttons, and the USB cable all hot glued into place. We should also have the shotgun pump and the trigger button wired into place. See diagram below. Now we need to run the USB cable under the trigger and back stock locking mechanism. Remove the trigger and locking mechanism. Run the USB cable down through the handle of the gun. Install the back trigger and the locking mechanism. This is what it looks like close up. Not very pretty, but it gets the job done. I would recommend testing out the gun first before putting the shell back on. Plug in the gun and make sure you can move the mouse around. Also see your buttons in the game controller settings. After confirming all your buttons work, install the outer shell back onto the gun. And that's it, you're ready to play some light gun games with an aim track rifle. This was a fun project. Also wanted a rifle instead of a handgun for my light gun games. If you like this video and want to see more, pistol whip the like button, shoot the subscribe button, and reload the bell button for future video notifications. Until next time, buckos, this is the RK Pirate sailing out. Mer. They're everywhere. Do you